Movie buffs, welcome back to the Movie Bay. This is Dee. In today's video, we're going to take a look at some stuff I've been just picking up for the last few months. This is the first video I've done in quite a while. I'm looking to be back on a regular basis. Uh, this is all the stuff that I picked up since the last video. It's not a lot, but it's, it's, a, it's more than a handful. So without further ado, we're going to take a look at some stuff that I picked up from Best Buy during their Black Friday sale. We're going to take a look at a small order that I placed from um, Family Video. And we're going to take a look at some items that I picked up from Goodies Disc Exchange. Uh, again, this is the first video in almost five months, I think. Maybe four or five months, I think. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into this video and take a look at uh, some pickups. This is the last pickup for the year. We'll start fresh again next year. Thanks for watching. Thanks for coming back. So without further ado, let's take a look at what I picked up from Best Buy for the Black Friday sale. Picked up a copy of Batman uh, Death in the Family. Now this is an interactive film. This is uh, basically, if you've seen Under the Red Hood, you pretty much know what this is all about. Um, it's interactive. You can see different endings. It's okay. It's not something that I would rush out to pay 20 bucks for, like pay full price for it. But if you can catch this on sale, this will be a good pickup and add to your DC collection. Again, this is not a retelling of a Batman Death in the Family. It's basically Red Hood and some other stories kind of chopped together. I mean, it's okay. It's not horrible, but it's not what a lot of people expected from it. Motherless Brooklyn. You got an all-star cast here. Really good movie. It's not a great movie, but it is a good movie. Edward Norton, Bruce Willis, Alec Baldwin, Willem Dafoe. Uh, it's just a fantastic movie. Edward Norton, he is so gifted and so talented. He plays a guy with Tourette's, and he does a fantastic job with uh, his acting in this movie. This was really a good movie. Like I said, it's a good movie. It's not great, but it is a good movie. Motherless Brooklyn. Again, back to DC. You guys know I love the DC Animated Universe. I have a whole bunch of them. I don't have them all, but I got probably 90% of all the DC animated movies. Um, this one is Justice League Dark Apocalypse War. Now, if you've seen the first Justice League Dark, that was fantastic. This is even better. Basically, the Justice League is going up against, well, Apocalypse. Apocalypse. He's like... To me, he's the ultimate badass in the DC Animated Universe. Village of the Dam. Now, this is one that I haven't seen since VHS. I had this on VHS back in the day. And I saw it when I was doing my little uh, pickup on Best Buy, uh, their website. It wasn't on sale or anything. It was full price. I think it was like $15. It's a, it's a, it's a... You know, a nice throwback movie for me. It was well worth it. I think they did a really good job at cleaning up the visuals for this for Blu-ray. Fantastic movie. This is a good movie. This is actually a remake. The original, I do believe, came out in the 50s. This is a fantastic movie. Um, although they did a good job at cleaning the visuals up, you can definitely tell this is a early 90s movie. Christopher Reeves and Kirstie Alley. Uh, again, another DC movie, you guys. I can't say it enough. I love them. I try to get them as you know, not as soon as they come up, but I try to get them before they become a little bit too stale. Uh, this is Superman: Man of Tomorrow. I did not see this one yet. I'm hoping to watch this one over the next couple of days. This one definitely has a different animation style from the other DC movies. Now, here's one that I caught. Again, this was uh, a little bit on sale. It, was, it wasn't really on like a super sale, but it was definitely, considering this is the 4K, this was a really good price. I think it was like 15 bucks. This is Doctor Strange. This is, I think I only need a couple of movies to round out the um, MCU, all the MCU movies on Blu-ray or 4K. Uh, this is Doctor Strange. Now, again, I don't need to have this movie because I have Disney+. Plus. All of those movies are available on that streaming service, but I'm a collector. So I wanted it on Blu-ray. I got lucky and was able to find the 4K for a good price. And Doctor Strange was a pretty good movie. Next but not least, I did watch this. As soon as I got it, this is Todd McFarlane's Spawn. This is the HBO animated series. This is all three seasons. This was really good. I had this. I I had to watch all three seasons. I did like a little binge watch. Got it all done in a day. 
Again, these are fairly short episodes. I do believe it's anywhere from six to eight episodes per disc. Each episode is probably running probably about 20 minutes because, you, you again, with the uh, home release, you're not watching the commercials. They don't have any commercials in them. So each episode goes from being like a half hour to like 20 minutes. So it's fairly easy to knock to knock off this whole series in a day with no problem. And that's with interruption, stopping to do stuff. So Todd McFarlane, Spawn, HBO. This was really good. I was hoping that they would do more of this, let this series kind of go on for another couple of seasons, but it don't look like that. This was good. Kind of left us hanging a little bit at the end. I wanted to see a little bit more from this. But this was fantastic. So that's Best Buy. Let's move over to what I picked up from Family Video. I love Family Video. This is Knives Out. Now, I did watch this movie when it first came out on home release. And I thought it was good. I was watching this, but I was also doing other things at the same time. So I really didn't get a chance to really take this movie in. So I'm going to sit down and give it a rewatch. Now, here's one that I did sit down and give it a full watch, full attention on it. This was really, really good. This was better than I thought it was going to be. Jim Carrey did a hell of a job in this movie. This movie really shows that Jim Carrey still got it. There was a little controversy uh, when this movie was in production about the way Sonic looked. They did a good job. They got him looking really good, sounding good. It was a really good movie. I, I really did enjoy Sonic the Hedgehog. This was uh, a fantastic watch for the whole family. Uh, Jumanji, The Next Level. This was really good. I liked, I liked this almost as much as I liked the first one with The Rock, Kevin Hart, and um, this cast right here. The original Jumanji, you know that was with Robin Williams. This is a, not a remake, this is a more of a different, it could be considered a remake. Really good, Jumanji The Next Level. Next up, I picked up uh, all three seasons of True Detective. So I, I, I enjoyed every season of True Detective. This was an HBO original show. I do believe that they are going to do a season four. I don't know if that's concrete yet. Here's season two. Now, season one, you had Matthew McConaughey and Will and Woody Harrelson. That was the, the two detectives in season one. And when you move over to season two, you got Vince Vaughn, Colin Farrell, Rachel McAdams, and Tyler Keish. This is the cast of True Detective season two. In season three, you got Mahersha Ali in this one to round out the third season. From what I understand, they are going to do a fourth season. I'm not sure when they're going to do it, but the rumor mill is saying there is going to be a season four. Don't know who the cast is yet, but again, that's just a rumor. Next up, Goody's Disc Exchange. Didn't pick up a lot from Goody's Disc Exchange, so let's dive in. I picked up Ant-Man. Now, this is one that I needed for my MCU collection. I also need Ant-Man and Wasp. I think to complete my MCU, all I need is... Um, I think all I need now is Guardians of the Galaxy Part 2 and, um, da, 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 da. yeah, Guardians of the Galaxy, oh, Ant-Man and Wasp. I think I only need those two. I got to look, maybe I need the Iron Man's, because I think I got a couple of the Iron Man's on DVD, but this particular collection I want it on Blu-ray or 4K, it doesn't matter. I just want to get this, the entire MCU on at least Blu-ray. So, again... Back to here, you got Ant-Man. This was okay. This was a good movie. It wasn't the best MCU movie, but it was pretty good. Hunter with William, uh, Willem, not William, Willem Dafoe. This movie was pretty good. Again, this is another movie that I was watching, and it started off a little slow, so I turned it off, but I'm going to have to give it another go, because I, from what I hear from movie enthusiasts, the circles that I've run in, this was a pretty good movie. Here's one. This is a Bloodbath. This is a 12 movie collection. You got 12 different horror films. Now I'm assuming, I'm going to say 90% of these are probably trash. Um, I know for a fact there's one on here that was pretty decent. Uh, and it's called Uninvited. This one was pretty decent. And I do believe, uh, which one? Which one? Uh, Red Riding Hood. This one was okay. But I, I didn't watch all of them. But again, 12 movies. You know, you got two or three of them that's good. That's fine. Hudson Hawk. This is Bruce Willis. For those of you who do not know, this is Bruce Willis' first movie. 
his first movie. This is fresh off of Moonlighting, where Bruce Willis got his start. That TV show. Uh, forget the chick that he starred next to. Uh, what was her name? Oh, man, I forget. But uh, this is Bruce Willis' first outing. Um, I do believe he's a cat burglar in this movie. Hudson Hawk. Hornet Mansion with Eddie Murphy. I did not see this. I'm going to have to sit down and give this one a watch. This is one that I saw. I saw Eddie Murphy. I saw it was one of his earlier works. I said, let me go ahead and check this one out. Here's another one. I didn't even know this movie existed. This is an early Denzel movie. You could tell about, you know, you could look at him and see how young he is in here. This is a very, very early Denzel movie. I love Denzel Washington. I try to get all his stuff. This is one I never even heard of, so I had to pick it up. I did not watch it yet, though. This is a set that I picked up for my son. He loves uh, Japan anime, and so do I. This is called Busso Rankin, and it's um, both seasons. This is one and two. Uh, Busso Rankin. It's um, it's, it's a it's a let's see, it's a Japan animated cartoon. I don't know much about it. It looked good. He watched a little of it. He said it was pretty good, so. I'm going to take his word on it. I do like Japan animated cartoons. And I'm going to give this one a watch. If you know anything about this one, just give me a little line in the comment section. Okay. Next up, this is the complete series of Roseanne. It's on DVD. All of these so far is on DVD except for the Ant-Man. So everything is going to be DVD. No Blu-ray. So this is all nine seasons, 222 episodes, spread over 27 discs. This is Roseanne. I loved Roseanne when I was younger. Roseanne was a really good show. You know, uh, if you, you on one end of the spectrum, you had the Cosby show. And on the other end of the spectrum, you had Roseanne. Look at all those discs. <laughs> Look at that. I'll show you guys from the side. It's a lot of discs. 27 discs. All here. All accounted for. Fantastic to have this in my collection. Because I really did like Roseanne. My whole family, we... We enjoyed Roseanne when I was younger, coming up. It was a really good show. Next up, I picked up all four seasons of Dragon Ball Z. Now, you guys know Dragon Ball, the whole saga is very long and lengthy. You got different, you got different series within that, that universe. You got Dragon Ball. You got Dragon Ball. Then you got this. Uh, this is the second series. This is Dragon Ball Z. Then you have Dragon Ball GT. It's just a lot, but this is the complete, this is the one that I'm familiar with. This is Dragon Ball Z. This is the complete, basically the complete, all of Dragon Ball Z. So this is season one and two, and this is season three and four. I do believe, if I'm not mistaken, let's take a look at the back here. This particular one, this cat, this covers, I do believe this first one covers the Freezer Saga and... The Cell Saga, 1 and 2. I think that's what's covered there. I think this particular season... Well, see, Frieza is back here. So I'm not too sure. i got to look at this. It's been a while since I watched Dragon Ball. But I know that you're going to get complete coverage of this, the Frieza Saga and the Cell Saga on this one. I'm not sure if you're going to get any of the Majin Buu stuff on this one. But anyway, this is Dragon Ball Z, seasons 1 through 4 from Goodies Disc Exchange. So, we're going to do what we normally do. We're going to recap the entire pickup for you guys so you can see everything. We're going to start with Best Buy. We have Spawn. Now, this set is on DVD. From what I understand, this is not available on Blu-ray. But, hey, it's animated. It's pretty good. Now, the only bad part about this being on DVD is the um, aspect ratio. Now, um, you're going to get the black bars if you're watching on a large TV. I watch all my movies on a 65-inch. So you're going to get the black bars on the side. But again, it's no problem. Doctor Strange on 4K. Superman, Man of Tomorrow. Village of the Dam. I want to say, I'm not sure. No, I don't think you got the black bars with this. I think you got the black bars across the top and bottom, but not on the sides. You may have. I don't know. I got to watch this again. Maybe. Uh, Justice League, Dark Apocalypse. Motherless Brooklyn, Batman, Death in the Family, an interactive movie. So that's Best Buy. 
from uh, Family Video, True Detective Season 3, True Detective Season 2, True Detective Season 1, Jumanji The Next Level, Sonic the Hedgehog, and Knives Out. And from Goodies Disc Exchange, we got Denzel Washington, um, License to Kill. I'm I'm pausing because I can't put my head on this, but I know I never heard of this movie. Uh, the Haunted Mansion, Hudson Hawk, uh, Twelve Movie Collection, Bloodbath. And back to Hudson Hawk, if you're a Blue, uh, Bruce Willis uh, fan, you, you definitely want this in your collection, especially if you collect um, something like this here, which we watched over the weekend, the Die Hard collection. We watched the entire collection over the weekend. Fantastic stuff here, guys. So if you're a Bruce Willis fan, you definitely want Hudson Hawk. It's the one that started it all. Hunter. Ant-Man. Roseanne, Busso Rankin, season one and season two, 13 episodes on three discs, so you got 26 episodes over six discs, and you got Dragon Ball Z, okay, let's take a look at these real quick, so you got, there's two in each one, so this one is definitely... You're going to get a little freezer action. In this one, you're definitely going to get the Cell Saga because you got Trunks. And Trunks don't come into play until you get to the Cell Saga. Let's see what we got here. This is that's Season 3-4. This is Season 1-2. So you got Vegeta here. Yep. Awesome. And these are digitally remastered. They look really good. Let's see, I'm trying to see how many discs these are for you guys. 1,725 minutes of runtime. That's quite a bit of runtime. I don't see how many discs. Oh, here we go. So you got 74 explosive episodes on 12 discs. And here you have 65 episodes on 12 discs. So you got quite a few episodes here, guys. So that's it. That's my pickup. I'm back. We're gonna we're gonna continue to make these videos. Now we're probably we probably will make these pickup videos. We'll probably go back to once a month because I'm just not picking up stuff the way I used to. It's not as easy to get stuff as it once was at one point. Um, a couple of my sources closed where I got really good prices and good deals and good selection on the used stuff. The new stuff is not a whole lot going on right now, you know, with what's going on. So it's not tons of new stuff out there, but I will be doing these pickup videos because I like doing them. But again, the pickup parts will probably be like maybe a once a month pickup because it's just not easy to get new, um, newer used stuff into the collection like it was before the situation is going on right now. I can still get stuff, but it's not as easy as it used to be at one point. So this is D from the Movie Bay. Thanks for watching. Thanks for coming back to watch. I appreciate it. I'll see you in the next one.